Oh, that sound. We know it when we hear it, but what do you call it? And how do you play it? Well, stick around, because I'm going to show you. Hey everyone, my name is Kyle Lewis and this is the Worship Keyboard Tutorial YouTube channel. Now the groove I just played for you, I haven't really found an official term for it. I tend to call it the minor pentatonic groove because it's a groove based on the notes of, you guessed it, the minor pentatonic scale. Now you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to put a link to another video that gives you some more practical application for this groove. So let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is to find the notes of the minor pentatonic scale. The easiest way that I have found to do that is to first of all find the notes of the major pentatonic scale. So let's find the notes for the C major pentatonic scale. Penta means five, so there's five notes, and the pentatonic scale is made up of the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth degree of the major scale. Now if I take this A and move it down here, I have an A minor pentatonic scale. So what I'm going to do, if you look at the chart there, I'm going to double this note here on top, so I have A on top, because the next thing that I need to do is to couple the notes. So in order to get that groove, we are going to couple notes in a specific way. We're going to start with this top note, A, and what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next note in the scale, which would be G, and go to the next note of the pentatonic scale, which would be E. Now, if you know anything about music theory, that's a perfect fourth, that interval right there between those two notes. So now let's start on G and go down. We're gonna follow the same principle. We're gonna skip the note within the scale, which is E, and we're gonna go to the next one down, which is D. That also is a perfect fourth. Now, if we start on E and go down, we skip the note within the scale, which is D, but then we get to C. This is not a perfect fourth. This is a major third, so that's different than the first two intervals that we found. Now let's start on D, follow the same principle. We skip the next note in the pentatonic scale and go to the following one, which is A. And again, we have a perfect fourth. Now our last one is C. C, we skip down, we skip that next note and go down to G. That also is a perfect fourth. So let's play these all in order. So we hear the perfect fourths. We have our major third down to the perfect fourth again, perfect fourth, okay? So now that we have our notes and we have our intervals, how do we find that groove? Well, one of the best ways is to listen to people that play that groove. And two songs that I would recommend is Thrill Is Gone by B.B. King and In The Morning by Nora Jones. If you listen to those songs, they have kind of that slow groove and they use that you know minor pentatonic sound to it. When I'm playing the groove, I tend to start with my left hand and I've got kind of a boom, ba -da -ba feel, just like I did at the beginning. That. simplify it as much as you want. You can play less rhythmic, like just... That still gets the point across. Now you'll notice when I was playing, sometimes I have those funky crunch notes, and that's basically part of the blues scale. So if I look at the A minor pentatonic scale, if I add one note, that sharp four, that gives me an A blues scale. And I can play it with a minor chord. I can even play it with a dominant seven chord. So when I use that blues note with that minor pentatonic scale, I oftentimes will slide either onto that E as I play that interval, you don't have to do it all the time, but throwing it in every now and then had, sounds kind of nice. I also use it when I crunch down on that D, and you'll notice my fingering here. I use second finger to thumb, and it also would depend on what key you're in. A minor, I would go from that second finger to the thumb here. And sometimes I'll use just the notes of the blues scale. Now, if you got some value out of this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. 
And before you sign off, make sure to click this link over here. That'll give you some more practical ideas for using this pentatonic groove. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.